In this video, we're going to be taking a look at four ways in which you can add video to your campaign emails in MailChimp. We're going to take a look at the original Classic Builder version, and then we're going to take a quick look at how to do it in the new beta version of the Email Builder. So that's what we're doing today. So let's get started. I know for some of you, you're like, well, I'm brand new to MailChimp. Let me figure this out. So we're going to start from scratch, kind of. We're going to start from our dashboard to get going on a campaign email. If you're unfamiliar with that step, you click on all campaigns and then you can click on create a campaign and then you have regular old email automation or the landing page. You want to click on regular old email, click on design. And once you have this up, obviously you're going to be filling in the to, the from, the subject, all that good stuff. Click on design email. Then you're going to select the template. I have a paid account, so my templates will probably look different than yours. You'll probably have the basics. So we'll just select the one column basic. When you get to this part of your design, you want to grab the video block. That's probably going to be your first step. So all you need to do for that is just drag it over to where you want. Let's put it right here. So at this point, what this video block does is gives you the ability to add a link to a public or unlisted YouTube or Vimeo video because they will preview in the display. So if I paste in the video link, it would automatically pull in the thumbnail from that video and display it here. If you are using another provider, you're going to have to add a image, a different image here. Your other option is to add in a caption describing what the video is about. And you maybe even want to give a call to action so that a person knows to click this, what looks like a play button. So you could say, click the image above to play the video about automated welcome email, something like that. So that's our content. If you click on style, you have other options here. You can put in a, a different background. You can put in a border. So you can stylize it as you see fit like that. So it puts a little red border around it. Uh, you can do an image style. You can even round the corners if you wanted to, but that kind of looks weird. <laughs> uh, your other settings here is to align the caption. You could do it at the top, the left, the right, and then the image alignment, you could do center, right, or left. Additionally, you can add an image with a link behind it. So the image that you can create maybe in Canva or some other type of design tool, Photoshop, for example, you can create something that looks like a video that would be able to be played if clicked and then upload that image. So I've got one ready to go here. So let me click on image, drag that over. And then we're going to click on upload image, click on upload, add in our image. And now we have this image right here, but we want to add a link behind it, right? So when a person clicks on that image, they'll go to the YouTube video. So we'll click on link and then we'll paste in our video and click insert. So that's two ways to do it. So we've got the video block. We've got an image with a link behind it. The more simpler ways that you can do this is just add a button. So we'll drag over a button. We'll say, watch the video, put in our URL to our video and save and close. And the last option that you have and the most basic is to put in a link. So in our email itself, we can highlight the text. We can click the little link icon up here, make sure it's on web address and then paste in our video. So that was a look at the classic builder. Now let's look at the new builder in beta. So over on the new builder, we have the same type of format, same type of blocks, but they're looking a little differently. It took me a little while to find video. So here it is right here. So we're going to drag that over. The layout is a little different. So you can add your source URL here and it will do the same thing populated as it did in the classic builder. And again, if I paste in the video link that is not YouTube or Vimeo, I would have to change out the thumbnail image. So for instance, if we were to put in a source URL to Instagram, it wouldn't know to pick up that thumbnail because it's gonna, only going to pick up a thumbnail from Vimeo or YouTube. So we would have to upload an image or browse to an image that a person would understand that that is a video that should be clicked. So we'll click on insert. And now 
if we were to preview this and click on it, it will take us over to Instagram to play a Formula One reel. <laughs> How cool is that? Because I love Formula One. Switch it back to our YouTube video and it instantly picks up our YouTube thumbnail. Additionally, we have an alt text that you can change or edit. And the same as, uh, as the classic builder, you can change the block background. What's not here is the ability to curve the edges of the image. You can add in padding. And you also have the ability, if you have a paid account, to do dynamic content. One bonus tip I will leave you with is to use an app called Playable Video. And to do that, real quickly, you drag over the app block. You then select Playable Video here. You click Connect. You'd create an account if you already don't have one. And what Playable Video allows you to do is show a short snippet of your video, 10 to 30 seconds, depending on if you have a free or a paid account in your email. So it's much more engaging than just a static image. So check out Playable Video if you're interested in that type of thing. So now that you have a better idea of how to add video to your campaign emails in MailChimp, check out this video where I talk about how to add segmentation to your audience list. Thanks, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.